Arizona Myeloma Network, which I started, now it's almost nine years ago, I started purely out of uh, the desire to uh, help other people who have multiple myeloma, like my husband, because it's such a rare form of bone marrow cancer. Um, most people have heard of leukemia and lymphoma, and there's an organization called Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and actually in small print it says, and myeloma. <laughs> And because statistically there are fewer people who will, you know, be diagnosed with myeloma. One percent of the, you know, uh, cancers. But, you know, one percent is just a number. And when you realize that there are, you know, 1,600 every month being diagnosed, you know, it's suddenly, and again, when it's you or someone you love, uh, it becomes a lot more significant. And um, I particularly am smiling because Kathy Guerrero really didn't know anything about me and, you know, and our charity until uh, she volunteered because a friend was volunteering, I think about four years ago, at our annual Living with Myeloma conference. Uh, that's our signature conference because it is for myeloma. And it's the only one in the country that is specifically for a particular disease. So we do our annual Living with Myeloma conference, and we literally have people coming from all over the country. We bring in the top specialists, uh, researchers, and in addition to the Saturday all-day conference, which is free, it provides breakfast and lunch, and also uh, we provide CMEs, which is very helpful for healthcare professionals. So we tend to attract nurses, doctors, healthcare workers, and agencies. Um, and we also have what we call a research roundtable. And what we do there is educate people and also bring in the top researchers. We can really see people, you know, having access to free information. Uh, someone who isn't partisan, I don't refer people to a particular facility. I don't work for anybody. And I think that's given us not only a lot of credibility, but we have an advantage. Um, you know, I'm not being paid by the government. I don't have these big, you know, grants that, you know, then you have to say, well, you know, this pharmaceutical or this agency or whatever. Uh, but we talk to all of them. We work with everybody.